guys. Welcome to our channel. I'm Natalie from Think It's Later. Today I will be coming to you with my evening go-to look. Oh, it took me like 15 times to get that right. So if you like this look, stay tuned and get ready with me. I see you Chuck and Jay-Z because we got a Mercedes in the I see you Chuck and Jay-Z. I don't know why that song is stuck in my head. Okay, so I'm starting off with a fresh face and to me that means, you know, I put on my daily moisturizer, which consists of coconut oil, fresh out of the shower while my face is still wet. I put about this much on. Then I apply a thin layer of lotion. Today, what we're working with is Cetaphil, because that's all I had. So we're starting with my eyes. I'm gonna be using the ELF 3-in-1 Moisturizer, Primer, and Pore Minimizer. So I'm putting primer all over my eye and all my eyebrows, just so that the product can stay on and go on smoothly. So I'm gonna fast forward the part where I do my eyebrows and I'll be back. That's the business. So now we're back. If you want to know how I did my eyebrows, just comment below and I'll make a quick tutorial about that. So now we're going to go onto my eyes. We're going to go in with this green tone adjusting primer. And this is going to go above the 3-in-1 primer that I applied before I did my eyebrows. And they have different types. In order to make sure that my eyeshadow goes on smoothly, I use this, the face primer, and the NYX eyeshadow base. This is in the color 3 skin tone. So this is going to make for a smooth surface. So now that the product is smoothed out, I'm going to go in with my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Palette. And that is broken. Okay. It looks like this and we're going to go in with the color Stark. And that's going to be used for my base. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay brush that came in my Naked 2 palette. It's two-sided, so it's very convenient. And we're going to go over the whole eyelid with this color. Once I'm done with a certain product, I usually just dust it off lightly because I don't want there to be a lot of buildup. I want to do exactly the same thing to this eye as I did to this eye. Okay, so now that we've got the base on, I'm gonna go in with the same brush, and I'm gonna be taking the color Skimp and applying it to my brow bone. I like to work from the top to the bottom, um, just because I find that it blends a little better. So when I do this, I'm gonna actually show you with my finger. When I do this, I take my brush and I put it, okay, I put it along here and I just brush it down like this. I'm showing you with my finger because sometimes when you do it with the brush, you can't really see it. It just looks like a whole bunch of motion. So what I showed you with my finger is what I'm doing here. Moving down to the transition color. I'm gonna be using it brushes for Ulta. This is the eyeshadow brush. I have this eyeshadow trio by City Color. I'm gonna be using this one right here. So I'm just gonna take it lightly. I don't like starting here and doing the windshield wipe technique because I feel that when I start here there is a lot of product build up right here and it just looks like my eyes are hooded so I don't like for all the product to be like right here because it looks weird. We're going to start in the middle and now we can continue on to the windshield wiper technique. When it comes to doing your eyeshadow, when it comes to doing your makeup, period, light hand is the way to go. Just do it lightly. You're brushing your face. You don't want to go in and do all this extra stuff. First of all, it's not good for your face, and it's not good for the product. Makeup is all about trial and error, guys. If I can find a picture, I'll put it in this video of how my makeup used to look back in the day. Even how my makeup used to look last year or how my makeup used to look two weeks ago. Like, makeup is based on trial and error. And you're not gonna get it right the first time. I'm not perfect. I'm not a, a licensed makeup artist or a licensed cosmetologist. I've just been doing this for a long time. You're gonna go through phases. Even, like, what's the thing? Like, makeup is like trial and error and like all about trends so you might go through a trend where you know having boxy eyebrows is in but 
then like, you know, two months later, someone else finds another technique and you start seeing memes everywhere. Like, oh my God, like look at her boxy eyebrows. Like it's all about trends. It's all about trial and error. Like just get better over time. So don't get upset if you don't get it the first time. Don't give up. Like if, if makeup is something that you like, just keep trying. So I guess we have to add a little bit more hair because this one's darker. I also like to bring it down just a little bit, just like how I did the top, just so that it looks a little more blended. Now I'm going to go in with Cabana Boy by The Bomb Cosmetics. And this we're going to use just to make the transition color a little more pink. This I got from Ipsy and I love my Ipsy bags. Now we're going to grab the It Brushes for Ulta and this one is called Airbrush Crease. So it kind of looks like the last one, except it's a lot smaller. This one was the one we just did. I'm gonna go in with Zone, and this is gonna be for my crease. I am barely, barely touching my eye. You can see that it's the product is still going on. So again, less is more. Less product, less pressure, it gets you there. I'm gonna go in with Ofra Cosmetic Laboratories. These are the things that you get from Ipsy that you put in the actual palettes and the kits. Um, I haven't gotten one yet, but I should because I have a whole bunch of these laying around, the small ones, the big ones. I'm gonna take the thin side of the naked brush and I'm just gonna lightly stroke it about four times. Here, I'm just using gentle patting motions and you're just gonna keep going and build it up until you reach your desired look. grab my Naked 2 palette and I'm gonna go in with Booty Call. I'm just gonna take that and put it right here just a little bit. And this is just to give it the illusion that light is reflecting off your eye. Now we're doing the eyeliner and I'm gonna pull this little bad boy out. It's the Maybelline New York Eye Studio eyeliner. Okay so I just put my finger in some water. And I just like to make sure that I don't have any fallout on my eyelashes because then it looks like eyelash glue and that's not cute. And fallout would be any extra eyeshadow that has fallen onto your eyelashes or anywhere else on your face. I need a really good song right now because I really need to concentrate. To be honest with you, man, she's a bad thing. Finding a hell for my guy, baby. Nine. That wasn't my good song, by the way. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? All right, here we go. Eyeliner. If you want to know how I did my eyeliner in a little more detail, just comment below and I'll make a quick tutorial. Migos should get at me because I got them ad libs. Now we're going back to the ELF 3 in 1 moisturizer primer. And as I'm looking at my makeup, I really don't feel like I need foundation, but you know, I wouldn't go out like this, so. If I'm going to do a face, I'm going to do a face. You know what I'm saying? Going in with the tone adjusting ELF primer just to focus on my red spots. Story time for a second, time out, pause. Um, I was taking out my hair and I'm like, what is in my hair? I hope it's not a bug. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. And like, I pulled it out. I'm like, I'm scared to look at it, right? It's my nose ring in the back of my head. I don't even know how, it's this one. I have two, it's this one. And any, anyway, I just realized that I didn't put it back in. So I'll be right back. So prior to putting on my foundation, I put on Wet n Wild Coverall Correcting Palette. Sometimes the product can be a little dry, so I spray my face and then apply it. We're gonna apply this to all the areas that I'm gonna highlight. It does say to use the white product, but I like the purple product just because I feel like it blends better with my foundation. I'm gonna put these on all the right spots that I have. 
because green cancels out what, kids? Red. Just make sure you blend it in well. So the foundation that I've been using this summer is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow in the color 209 Caramel Beige. This one's blue, the red one I think is like matte. It's a 24 hour foundation, it's supposed to have a radiant finish, um, it's medium coverage and it's an air light texture. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Spray my face just a little bit. I got a mad brush with a number. Okay, I'm gonna take, I can't even read the number, this brush is so old, okay, but it's clean. Um, they probably don't even make this brush to be honest anymore because I think I got it when I first started doing makeup, but let me have my moment. We are gonna use the MAC 190 brush. I apply my foundation with a brush first and then go in with the beauty blender just because I don't want the foundation building up on my beauty blender because it'll be harder to clean. When you buy a foundation, you have to make sure that you're matching your neck because if it matches your neck, then it'll match the rest of your body. Um, but if you're matching your face, you're gonna get the wrong color because your face is usually not the same color as the rest of your body. I know back in the day they used to say match your wrist, but that's not true because this is lighter than this side, so no. Yeah, put, put that makeup right back in the bottle, girl. So now, so we're done with the foundation. I use this setting powder. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And actually with this, I find that I don't need concealer. So I'm going to take the cleanest side of the beauty blender, grab the powder, and just put it around the parts where I get really oily and the parts that I also want to highlight since I do use it as concealer sometimes. Then once we're done with that, we're just going to let it sit and apply the rest of our makeup and then we'll wipe it off. Right here, we're just going to try to make like a real crisp line just so you can have a really clean guideline for your contour. So I usually find really good dupes for high-end products, but when it comes to this setting powder, I have not had anything come close to it. This was a gift and I would definitely spend my money on it. <laughs> Put that little sucker right back in there. That's what I use to contour. I got it from Ipsy. I need to go get the big one because this is my favorite. The reason why I like this is because I don't like to use pink tones. Um, this is very ashy, so I'm going to take this It Brushes for Ulta and it's the Airbrush Foundation and I'm just going to tap the excess. So I'm going to start from the top and then bring it down in circular motions. I just now started doing this because before, before, by before I mean like last week, um, I was doing like a straight line and it was just not blending very well. So we're just using a very, very light hand, barely touching the skin and again, circular motions. When I'm doing my forehead, I like to brush up. Okay, so now that I've gone in with Hula, I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. I'm going to be using the same brush. I also have Caramel Toffee, which has a more pinkish undertone, which I don't really like using. As I said before, I like the more ashy brown colors, so I'm going to be using this one, Dulce de Leche. But they both work really well, it just depends on what kind of look you want. First of all, it's very pigmented, so you don't have to get a lot of product on it, and I just grabbed a lot of product. So I'm just applying this product over top of the Hula application, just because it defines it a little more. I am 
They got numbers again. Okay. Um, BX80 from Evolution. Our Evolution. Revolution. Oh, I probably sound dumb now. Okay, well, if you know, comment below and let me know how to pronounce it. Look at how fine the brush is. I used to make the biggest mistake of going in with this size brush and just brushing. So you're doing this to give the illusion of a smaller nose. I have a pretty small pointy nose already. I just like to define it. Okay, so now we are going to blend, especially this right here because this looks crazy. But before that, I'm going to wipe off the baking powder. So I'm gonna brush from the inside going outwards. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna make sure to brush all the excess product off of the brush. And then we're gonna go in and blend the rest of our makeup. Okay, so now we're gonna dig into this XOXO blush made by Makeup Geek. I don't like a lot of blush, so this brush just helps with precision. Now, for everyone's favorite part, we're gonna go in with Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlight Powder Duo in Warm Glow. So it looks like this. Let's open it. So it has two colors. It has like a pinkish one and a goldish one. I'm gonna take a small contour brush and just mix both of the colors. So I'm gonna start from the top and bring it down just a little bit. I don't like to put too much highlight on my face just because I feel like highlight accentuates or enhances any bumps that you might have on your face or pores. Also, if you sweat, um, those areas where you put highlight is gonna emphasize the sweatiness on your face, basically. And um, so I don't think that looks good, so I try to limit my highlight. And um, also, this is about all you're going to get. I don't put it on my forehead, on my chin, or above my lip. Just because, again, those are the main places where I sweat. And I don't think it looks good. Dust off your brush and put the same color highlight on your brow bone. I'm just not realizing that I have two of the same mascaras. Meaning that one of them is Simone's. Sorry. I don't know how that got in there. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Paris Telescope Carbon Black. Because this brush is so fine, I usually use it as preparation for my next mascara. Oh, would you look at that? Speaking of the devil. Y'all, like, how scary is this? This was not even planned. That's crazy. We're connected. We're kindred spirits, soul sisters, that's why. Hi. Hi. You're on YouTube. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? How's it going? I was about to be like, you know what? It's okay. Forget it. I don't really need to do this. <laughs> I've put on my mascara. I did Mad Lash Black Mascara from The Bomb Cosmetics. My eyelashes, that's a whole different story, okay? My eyelashes like are so straight that they curve down, I swear. Now I'm gonna go in with the High Impact Mascara from Clinique for my bottom lashes. Okay, so now that we're done with the makeup, we're gonna clean off the excess powder, foundation, anything you might have just hanging around. Usually I don't do my eyebrows, so if I have any product in my eyebrows, I will go in and wipe it off. And apart from my eyebrows, I will wipe off any product inside my nose. Also any piercings, just to make it look brighter and to be clean. <laughs> And last but not least, that hairline girl. Get that hairline. I'm using my sister's NYX Matte Finish Finny Matte Long Lasting Setting Spray. That was very long. I promised her I wouldn't use a lot. No, I'm just kidding. She's gonna come out the room like, I heard you. I'm 
laughing because she was like, only use three sprays. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> she was like, only use three sprays. One, two, three. That's all you need. Look, I don't even have lips. They're gone. <laughs> oh my God. What make it look? Put some chapstick on. Then you good to go, okay? <laughs> Mom, are you back there being nosy? Like, cool, I wish I knew what she was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Should I peek around? <laughs> she is so nosy. So here I have Go For A Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Pasadena. And with that, I'm gonna outline the outside of my lips just to give it a gradient look. And then for the inside, I'm gonna go in with the NYX MLS 21 in Butter Bure. I think I just murdered the heck out of that. So this is the final look. Let me know whether you liked it or not, what you'd like to see next. If you have any questions or any products that you might want to try out or have been eyeing that maybe you want me to try, just let me know. I'll try them for you. I'll make quick tutorials for those. Don't forget to go watch Simone's video. Like, comment, and of course, subscribe to our page. So thank you for watching. Edit that out. That's wrong. Let us know what you'd like to see next here on Disney Channel.